Today I wanted to talk about the desk station application that has been launched together with the intercom. Uh, but personally, I still think it is often overlooked. And before you say that uh, desk station is just an application for somebody to interact with the intercom and have two-way communication and uh, you know possibly open doors as well, I wanted to tell you that it actually spans across not only our cameras, but also our access control. So if you have any doors without an intercom, you'll be able to get feeds from the context cameras. You'll be able to remotely unlock those doors. And then an admin can also configure one or multiple cameras. These usually are perimeter ones, uh, giving the people at reception or at the security desk a general understanding of what is happening outside the premises. You can almost think of it as a viewing station, although obviously the viewing station itself is made to be put on a large screen somewhere. So before I go ahead and configure this, I wanted to answer a very common question. Why would somebody pay for this? The app itself can be downloaded from the Apple App Store. However, it does require, like many other Mercado devices, a license that comes in one, three, five, or 10 year options. Why can't somebody just use command and do their work through that? Command does give you the ability to view cameras via grids, interact with access control, and operate the intercom. You can even have multiple tabs, so you can jump from one to another. And that is completely correct. So let me give you some ideas where this might come in use. As a viewing station, the desk station can be configured remotely. And if you put a mobile device management onto the iPad itself, then you know for sure that unless for a reason it turned itself off, that the person or persons at reception or at the security desk are watching what you want them to watch. There's not going to be any excuses of I closed the tab by mistake. I was possibly watching some streaming show and I totally forgot that there was somebody outside knocking at the door, etc. So major reason number one for you to looking into the desk station is the peace of mind that the people on site are able to do their job properly. And as you can imagine, the more sites you have, the more you run the risk that actually something happens at a particular location and that person that is in charge with security or reception are not aware how to fix it or if something went wrong in the first place. Secondly, if you want to give users at a particular location access to command, you have to provision user accounts. And although you can give them something generic, so when the shift changes, they don't need to log, log out, log, log in again, that will impact the audit log because if somebody does something that they should not, you won't be able to tell from command who that particular person is. So if you have different shifts and different people manning that security or reception desk, you should definitely be looking at giving them bespoke credentials. But what's going to happen if they have issues logging in? Maybe some people are not as technically inclined. They'll try to do so a few times. It's not going to work. And it's really up to you to pick up those cases and rectify them before security is impacted. So that's the whole reason for the desk station. It allows people to easily interact with the platform without logging in, gives you the peace of mind that the person or persons at that particular facility see what they need to see and can do their job. And as I described previously, it allows you to interact not only with the intercoms, but also with cameras and access control. So let's see how you can configure it. Here is a blank iPad. Sign in with my Apple ID and downloaded the desk station app. So we've worked out a desk station. Now, obviously I'm doing this on my 
own test organization. But my recommendation is that yourselves should be purchasing these iPads, enrolling them into a mobile device manager and put them into the single app mode. So that gives you a few advantages. First of all, people on site can't exit the app. So they will press the buttons, but the app is the only thing that they are able to see. And secondly, if somebody were actually to steal the iPad, you'll be able to see where it is and also delete data remotely. Okay, so as I open the desk station app, uh, I get presented to a screen asking me if I want to set this up as a, a desk station, which obviously it is. So I click let's get started and I am presented with a serial number. So the way you add the desk station is by actually taking this number and then inputting it into your devices tab. Let me show you how you do that. Click add devices. You'll select the site. I'll put it in my home site where the intercom is. And then I just type in the serial number. Press add, a desk station appears and I click activate. As a new page opens up, I get presented with a message saying success, please add tiles via command. And this is not something surprising. So for those of you who used our viewing station before, you know that you have multiple pages. And then in the case of the desk station, you have one and up to four tiles per page. So click add tile, I'll add the video intercom as again, this is the my primary use case, but remember you don't actually need to have an intercom to use desk station. And the live image from it appears. You'll be asked to allow the app to use the microphone as you want to have two-way communication and also to connect to devices from the local area network. So this is to enable home local streaming between the iPad and the intercom camera. You'll see a couple of other buttons here. Um, one of them it says I'm here uh, and away. So if the person at reception steps out, maybe for a break, the desk station will actually be bypassed in the call sequence, which is something quite cool. Regardless to say, it will be useless if there's nobody around to pick the intercom up, to ring it for 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever you set this up. You have a button to allow you to unlock the door in case the intercom actually controls the door itself. And also a top down button that will allow you to interact with whoever is on the other side of the intercom without them actually pressing the button. So if you have somebody loitering or you just want to tell them to go away or ask them if there's anything you can do to help, you just press this button and again, two way communication is initiated without the person pressing the intercom button. I'll go ahead and I'll add, um, not a door, I don't have a door at the moment, but I'll add one on multiple cameras. I'll choose some of the multi-sensor cameras here. As I add them, they'll appear automatically here and the app will allow me to scroll between the pages. It's a really cool format for those people who engage with the system on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you configure the viewing station, you can manage the tiles further down the line. And if you want to delete it, you just need to press the three buttons here. The settings only allows you to reset the tiles at the moment and give you a couple of information about the health of the device and its serial number. But obviously further down the line, as Verkada is so good in bringing new features and functionalities, I would expect more options to be available in the settings tab.